Hello! Uh, it's Natalie Elphinstone here. Today I want to show you a few ideas on how you can use uh, the silk screen that comes in the Whitman add-on. Now this is obviously a new and exclusive product from Studio Calico and I'm so excited about it. I love the fact that Studio Calico keeps giving us these amazing new products that nobody else has thought of yet. Um, and I just was going to run you through a few ideas. So the first thing you need to know is uh, the idea of the silk screen is that it comes on this backing. It's quite sticky on the back, which means that when you put it down uh, on your surface, and today I'm going to just be working on one of the calico bags uh, that in fact your add-on might have come in, um, it sticks to the surface. And the beauty of that is that then when you put your paint or your ink or your spray on it, it shouldn't seep around the edges like sometimes a stencil does. Now in your add-on, um, you also got a tube of the Color Theory paint, the Orange County paint. And this is of course uh, one of the ways you can use your silk screen. So all you need to do is just pop a little bit up the top. We'll see if that's going to be enough. Grab something with a flat surface. I'm just going to be using an old credit card. And it's simply a matter of dragging it down. Now, obviously that was nowhere near enough. So let's put a bit more on. Better. And it doesn't need to be perfect. I think sometimes when you get that imperfect look, it adds to the artisticness of it, if you like. Maybe just a touch more. Says me, who's trying to get it perfect. And then when you peel this off, there you go. Now, put that aside to dry, to clean it. All I do is just pop it back down on my backing paper, grab a, I use a baby wipe, and it will just come right off. Okay, quite easy, and we might need to just clean the back of it. Oops. Okay. And now we're ready for something else. So I like to do a lot of my um, practicing just on some spare paper. I, I'm not brave enough to um, go straight onto my layout. So grab some paper. Um, get our silk screen. Now probably you should wait until this dries a bit. And we'll put it down on our paper. Stick it down. The next thing we're going to use is some of our Color Theory inks. I've got it in the same Orange County color and Sunny Day. And I'm just going to use a sponge to fill it in. Now you can change your colors, create a bit of a two-tone effect, and obviously the more times you go over this, the darker those ink colors will be. But just to give you an idea, that works really well as well. Now that's quite light at the moment, but as I said, you can obviously go over it. If you didn't want the whole design of the triangle, there is another trick. Put those ones aside. Say you just wanted to add the words these days then perhaps you need to get just like a little bit of a smaller sponge and just go over that bit and then you're going to get a nice um, inked design of these days. Now another technique of course apart from your inks that you can use is your Mr Huey's sprays. Sprays work well with this. So once again stick it down to your paper now I find the trick with sprays is that if you don't want everything in your workplace to be covered, just use one of the boxes that your kits come in um, to help protect it. Just grabbing some blue, Bonnie blue in fact, Mr. Huey's, and you want to spray from a distance. 
Um, so you can see that this will go everywhere, hence the box. Um, and if you spray from a distance, it gives the more sort of lighter, even coverage rather than the big spots, if you like. And, you know, you can peel it off and if it's not quite right, we can just put it back on again, give a few more sprays, get it nice and dark and try that. There we go. That's better. There you go. One more interesting technique you can try. Is a glitter technique. So I'm going to stick this down again. I'm going to grab some, just some craft glue, some white glue, and a little bit like our paint technique. I'm going to squirt the glue at the top. Use my flat surface, my credit card, to drag the glue down. And again, just because I can't really see if we've got good coverage or not, and I don't want to risk it, we'll put a bit more on. I think that should have done it. Peel this off. And we're going to sprinkle it with some purple glitter. Always put on more than you think you'll ever need just to make sure it's got good coverage. Grab a piece of scrap paper that you can pour this onto. And there you go, a glittery banner. So all I do now with all of these is of course just cut around it and then you can use that on a page, on a card, in your Project Life album, or on something completely different. Uh, the limit is your imagination. Well, I hope that I've shown you some ways today to use your silk screen that you might not have thought of before. Make sure obviously to give this a good clean now that we've used glue on it. Um, and I can't wait to see what you can come up with um, and all of your wonderful projects in the gallery. Thanks. Bye.